fake news. Welcome to today's headlines. Governor Uzodema justifies military bombing of Imo communities market. Governor Uzodema justifies military bombing of Imo communities market. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Governor Hope Uzudimar of Imo State has justified the killing and bombing of Ekeo Tutu in the also local government area of the state, allegedly carried out by Nigerian troops. Sarah reporters had reported that troops of the Nigerian Army in collaboration with the Nigerian Air Force bombed Ekeo Tutu Market and residential houses, killing several people and destroying property worth millions of naira belonging to the local populace. Since the incident, the army and other security agencies have been silent on the issue, as public outrage continues to trail the unimaginable destruction visited on the local community. Sahara reporters had also reported that the Catholic Church codenamed the bombing of AK Ututu market and residential houses, describing it as genocide and the government attempt to subdue the people. The Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, has also codenamed, has also condemned the invasion and bombing, accusing Governor Uzodima of terrorizing and killing innocent people of the state using security legend. Reacting to the development, during a press conference at the government house. The governor justified the killings and bombing of the market. He also vowed to continue to wipe out what he described as criminal elements in the state, particularly in Osu. Last Saturday, a joint security force which arrested the bandit, took him after his confession to guide them to where they operate from and manufacture the explosives. It turned out to be a KO Tutu market. They discovered four shops where fertilizers, ammonium, sulfate, and electrical gadgets used in manufacturing explosives were packed, he said. He, however, advised members of opposition parties and indigenous people of Biafra Lipop to stop inciting insecurity in the state. Uzudima said instead of encouraging the breakdown of the law and order, opposition members and IPOP should support the state to prosper. Although, he said his administration did not approve of the killing of innocent people in Ekeu Tutu, he announced that an army major was killed in that operation while a captain was critically injured. Uzodima said while his administration regretted the destruction of shops and other economic structures, in the market. During the operation, his government would ensure that all the bandits terrorizing the state were decimated. He said his government would work out modalities to compensate traders 
whose goods and wares were destroyed during the operation. Uzodima expressed regret over the collateral damage suffered during the raid. He, therefore, promised to rebuild the market. So when a K Ututu market is destroyed, to give Imo peace, the government will also rebuild it. If, in the process, there are innocent traders who lost their items, the government will work out compensation for them. But the government has a responsibility to fight crime, Ozodima said. The governor said his administration is not masterminding genocide in the area. Asking his opponent to return from Abuja and visit the scene of the incident. He also debunked the allegation that he that he acted into the server of the Independent National Electoral Commission in his Omuma world in the Oru East local government area of the state and manipulated the figure. The governor dispelled the allegation by one of the counsels for the detained leader of the IPOP, Aloi Ejimako, and his administration was killing people in the community with the state-owned Ebubiago security personnel. Governor Hope Uzodimar of Imo State has justified the killing and bombing of AK Ututu in the also local government area of the state, allegedly carried out by Nigerian troops. Sarah reporters had reported that troops of the Nigerian army, in collaboration with the Nigerian Air Force, bombed AK Ututu market and residential houses, killing several people and destroying property worth millions of Nigeria. What millions of Niger belonging to the local populace? So, my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.